Clearly there are 600 million US dollars stacked up, but can only look at it, not daring to spend a single cent. What's even more infuriating is that the money has to be shredded, sent to the farm to be used as fertilizer for chives. The reason is simple, these are all worn out old banknotes. Sophie, who earns a monthly salary of 100,000, must ensure the safety of the old banknotes. Every day feels like walking on thin ice. There are unpredictable storms in the sky. There is a director causing trouble. The factory's banknote shredder suddenly malfunctioned. Manager Mike called the repairman. Upon learning that the repair would take a long time. But during the maintenance period, the backup power supply had another problem. What's even more bizarre is that. The phone that has never failed also lost its signal. Sophie, who needs to contact the technician in person feels uneasy. It seems like there is a premonition that something big is going to happen. He secretly changed the vault password. Hiding the tablet in a pile of waste seemed like a normal operation, but it triggered a shocking situation. Sophie had just left the factory. A suspicious van is being inspected by the security guard. However, in the next second, the factory gate automatically opened. The guards inside the house silently activated the alarm. They started shooting back, trying to buy time. But the criminals were well equipped. As a shock bomb came flying towards them, the guards at the entrance were instantly wiped out. Mike immediately locked the vault. The guards were fully armed and ready for battle. But they never expected that. Fortresses are often breached from within. The head of security unexpectedly betrayed them. Launch a coordinated surprise attack from both inside and outside. And the maintenance worker we hired earlier. It's the hacker that SA with Macron NG Bio hired. So, an unprecedented hurricane is about to engulf the entire town. By then, the banknote factory will be isolated and helpless. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to rob money. As long as we open the vault door, we can easily get our hands on 600 million US dollars. However, we were dumbfounded when we opened the door. The decrypted password we obtained in advance turned out to be ineffective. And it will take 5 hours to re-decrypt it. Upon learning that the password was changed, SA with Macron NG BioS blood pressure sword, he started questioning Sophie's whereabouts. Mike had no choice but to confess. On the other side, Sophie found the technician, John. He had already driven back to the entrance, sensing something was wrong. He got out of the car to investigate. However, he was targeted by the hidden criminals. At the critical moment, John, disregarding the danger, stepped on the gas pedal. He protected Sophie and helped her escape from the predicament. Just as the two were about to escape, the hacker unexpectedly hacked into the access control system. In order to cover Sophie's escape, John was ultimately captured. Exhausted, Sophie was quickly cornered against a wall. There was no chance to divert the firepower from the automatic weapons. Just as he was in despair, Will, who came to find his brother John, extended a helping hand at a critical moment. The two of them rushed to the police station immediately. They reported the situation to the sheriff. I hope he can gather his subordinates for support. Little did they know, in the next second, the sheriff, however, aimed his gun at them. They had just escaped from the tiger's den, only to enter the wolf's lair. Sophie had no choice but to obediently drop her weapon. Seeing how obedient he was, the sheriff, in a moment of carelessness, did not see him as a threat. Sophie suddenly leaped and grabbed the handgun. Will took the opportunity to knock the sheriff to the ground. With their tacit cooperation, they escaped from the police station unharmed. The opportunity slipped away. The disgruntled sheriff disregarded the hurricane. He wished he could step into the fuel tank. In a high-speed chase, Sophie quickly ran out of bullets. In order to shake off the pursuit, Will had no choice but to take a gamble. From Sophie's mouth, they learned, the entire town had no signal. However, the hackers were still able to work normally. Will speculated that they had a satellite connection. They had to find and destroy the receiving device. Following the guidance of the energy detector, the two arrived in front of a signal tower. But at this time, the wind speed was close to 140 km per hour. It was impossible to dismantle the receiver. Will pulled out a steel cable. He planned to pull down the iron tower directly. He struggled against the strong wind to move forward. After much difficulty, he managed to climb halfway. Seeing Wool being tossed around like a kite, Sophie was already extremely nervous. Fortunately, Wool was lucky enough. He miraculously completed the mission. But just as he turned his head, the relentless gang of Sang Biao had already arrived here with great momentum. Sophie had taken cover behind the weather van. They aimed their guns at the control tower and fired a burst. 
The driver was caught off guard, he was riddled with bullets, if it weren't for the co-pilot's hasty jump out of the car, he would have been incinerated along with the gas station, Sophie quickly landed on the ground, she activated the winch, and started pulling the iron tower, just as the hacker was about to crack the password, the signal tower finally collapsed with a bang, seeing this, Sang Biao became furious and desperate, he swore to tear the two of them to pieces, Will quickly asked Sophie to untie the rope, he felt the wheel hub cover in front of an auto repair shop, which was enhanced by the hurricane. In an instant, it transformed into a powerful hidden weapon. Sang Biao's men couldn't dodge in time. They were actually split apart alive. Even though Sang Biao was furious, he didn't dare to take another step forward recklessly, and a bigger internal crisis was about to erupt because of his failure. The police chief gathered all his men. They were ready to kill Sang Biao and take over the vault. He accused Sang Biao of being afraid to kill. Too soft-hearted. That's why he ended up in this situation. But as soon as he finished speaking, Sang Biao offered a salary of 20 million to each person. Without hesitation, the black police immediately switched sides. They pledged their loyalty to Chief Sang Biao. It was simply unforgivable. In order to save his brother, John, Will prepared a bold plan. He asked Sophie to contact the funeral marker, suggest exchanging the vault password for John. Soon, the black police brought John to the agreed shopping center rooftop. Wool said the secret code to his brother, hinting John to be prepared. When the pressure reaches the critical value, Sophie launched a signal flare to shatter the glass. The pressure difference between inside and outside instantly creates a huge suction force. John was prepared long ago. Quickly avoid. Sophie and the two of them also tied the safety rope early. Although being sucked out of the roof, there is no harm. While the unprepared black police flew into the sky and fell into meat paste, the two lucky individuals survived the hurricane's devastation. They know that Sang Biao will not give up easily. We must be prepared. Just in case. And a car bomb is the best choice. Regardless of whether Sang Biao can get the rescue money, you can give him a fatal blow when he evacuates. There is no time to lose. The two of them rush to the garden, find gasoline, ammonia and fertilizer to make a bomb. As they prepare to leave, suddenly, the sound of an engine came from outside the house. Sang Biao's men blocked the door. The two of them were trapped in the warehouse. Nowhere to escape. At the same time, the super hurricane caused towering waves, rushing inland like a force of nature. The town was in ruins after the flood. Will climbed onto the meteorological vehicle to save his life, rescued by John, who arrived shortly after. Unfortunately, Sophie fell into the hands of Sang Biao. In order to force him to reveal the password, Sang Biao is already resorting to any means necessary, seeing Mike about to be torn apart. Sophie had no choice but to compromise. As the vault door slowly opened, Sang Biao had no more scruples. He was tightly holding onto his anger. He actually ruthlessly shot Mike in front of everyone. On the other side, the two brothers returned to the repair shop and found weapons, taking advantage of the eye of the hurricane approaching, preparing to risk it all for a big move. When Sang Biao left with the money, the two secretly followed along the way. The hacker couple were busy being intimate, completely unaware of the situation behind the car. John slowly approached, controlling the speed of the car, successfully getting Wu onto the car, then quickly flipping out of the car door, jumping with all their might before the car speed decreased. Although the process was extremely dangerous, but the brothers were united, their unity was invincible. In the end, both of them successfully climbed onto the roof of the car. The hacker couple were caught off guard by this. John effortlessly took control of the truck. What they had to do next was even more crazy. Will climbed onto the front of the car by himself. He had to rescue the endangered Sophie before the hurricane arrived. When he approached the driver's side, there was suddenly a fight inside the car. Sophie was fighting with the hijackers. In the chaos, the driver was shot dead by stray bullets. The truck suddenly veered off and lost control. It sped towards the nearby factory. Will took over the steering wheel just in time. They gave it their all to avoid a fatal accident. Meanwhile, Sophie was still struggling desperately. Just as the criminals were about to succeed, the two of them, in perfect coordination, pulled off an incredible move. Hmm. Only Sang Biao remained in front of them, and the hurricane was already a hundred meters away. After a brief discussion between the two brothers, they decided to use a pincer strategy. They took turns ramming from the left and right. Sang Biao, trapped, couldn't move. They had to break urgently to adjust their position, but he didn't notice at all. This move played right into the hands of the two brothers. They blocked Sang Biao's path. They slowed down to let the hurricane pass. Two hundred million dollars in cash flew everywhere. Sang Biao let out a long howl, but he was helpless. Facing the ferocious hurricane, John's truck suddenly blew its engine. In desperation, they had to abandon the truck and escape. Meanwhile, the poor hacker couple were beyond saving. They died on the spot. The three survivors were overwhelmed with joy. Loaded with $200 million in cash, they headed towards Mexico. 